So we are here at the Royal Albert Memorial Museum and it's a Ram Late, it's the second Ram Late and we are launching a very new um, LGBTQIA plus trail. It's the first of its kind for the museum and I'm here, I'm Natalie McGrath and this is Dr Jana Funke from the University of Exeter and we've been collaborating with the museum and with young people from Explore Youth, LGBT group, and Exeter Colleges, LGBTQ Society over the past kind of four or five months to have conversations about how the museum might open up its collections to reveal different discourses and different stories and different histories. And this first trail hopefully will lead people to maybe rethink some of the objects in the museum in terms of LGBTQ histories mm -hmm. and stories. So do you, can you, do you want to talk about the process a sure. little bit and how we've got to this launch point? Yes, exactly. It's been a really interesting journey to be on. Um, we started meeting with the young people and having discussions about what does the museum mean to you, if anything? Have you ever been to the museum? And then also thinking about what might it mean to queer the museum in the sense of what might it mean to think about this and the collections as offering us an opportunity to think about gender and sexual diversity in our lives today, in the past, across the globe. And this is really where we started. We were thinking about um, would a queer trail mean that we need objects that depict LGBTQ lives or identities? Does it mean that objects are made by artists who identify as LGBTQ? Or can we find other ways to tell queer stories by using the collections? And hopefully when you do the trail and have a look at it online or when you come to the museum, you can think about the different ways in which we try to work with objects, work with stories to demonstrate how we can think about gender and sexual diversity, LGBTQ lives in a lot of different ways. And the young people were really brilliant in talking about queer histories sometimes where they find them, where they don't find them, is LGBTQ history taught in school and really what came out of that is how, it, how important it is to do something mm. like this and to find ways to engage everyone really with queer history. Mm. And I think one of the things that we discovered, one of the young people from Exeter College, mm. they're actually at the end of the work with them, they thanked us for yes. asking them, mm. for actually asking what it might mean for them to have a connection to the museum, what might make yeah. them uh, decide to mm. use this mm. public space, that a space that's meant to be for yes. everybody, and that they, you know, as a as a as a young queer mm. person, they might think, well, that the museum isn't for me. But mm. um, so somewhere they've all had a a part in yes. some of the of the decisions that we've mm. made, and um, and we hope that these trails will have a yes. a longer life beyond this launch this yeah. evening and tomorrow is Exeter Pride yes. so we will be hopefully drawing people into the museum yeah. to, mm. to celebrate as part of that mm. big day that happens once a year here in Exeter as well but, but one more thing to yeah. say maybe is that we really want to see this as the beginning of a conversation so yes. the trail is in out has been printed but really what we try to do and what also came out of the work with the young people is that we need to ask questions so this is not telling you the history of LGBTQ people, but it's more asking questions about what it means to explore our history, where we can find it, where it's obscured, where we don't find it, what is lost, and really starting a conversation. Um, and so we hope that the trail can be that, a beginning of a collaboration with other yeah. voices, um, continuing to work with the young people, with the brilliant people at the REM, to really find other ways in which we can queer the museum. And it yep. would be really great to hear from people if you have ideas, how can we make this museum or other museums, how can we make history queer? We're using the hashtag QueeringRam, so queering R-A-M-M. -M. And if you can tweet us or on Facebook, write us comments, what it might mean to you to open up a space like this, a collection like this, to reflect sexual and gender diversity. We would love to hear your yeah. thoughts. And, and, just, and so the word launch mm. is right, it's uh, the launching of the beginning of this. Mm. And that you will be able to access the trail yes. beyond this weekend as well. These lovely trail brochures will be available and you can find them on 
Ram's website mm. as well. So, brilliant. Thank Thanks. you.